I just touched him. There it is. I'm touching him again. There it is. And watch this. I mean, come on! <laughs> Look at you. I'm. This is. I think this is the best hot pink dress we've ever had on the show. I absolutely love it. It's a triumph. I saved it for you. Did you really? I did. For real? I know it's a little flirty, but yeah. No, I love I'm it. I'm feeling flirty. You know why? We're live. We're live. Together. We're out. I know, you were Me on a you. screen before, now you're not. Let's talk about fashion for a minute. Ooh, you're pink. making some... Yeah, look, Reggie's in a nice... Reggie. ...blush. A nice blush, yeah. <laughs> That's Sorry. Reggie's flirty wave. But you are in quite... Look at this. This was the dress you wore to the Golden Globes, yeah. which was, I think, started trending when you were on... <laughs> the red, ..on the red carpet. Were you uh, surprised by the reaction to this? I well, love it. you know... Here's the thing. We've all been struggling. It's mm. been a couple years of a lot of yoga pants. Yeah. And, you know, I was going to the Golden Globes, even though it was very controlled. And uh, I work with a woman named Jane Ross, and she pulled that out of a bag, and I was like, there is no way I am wearing that dress, Jane Ross. She goes, just try it on. And you know what? Here's Bye. the thing. It's made by Alex Perry, who's an Australian. And... That is what we call commando. And I mean, there's nothing underneath that dress. And I mean nothing. And the beauty of it is when a dress actually fits you so well and you don't need any support anywhere, but the dress is the support, that's why I felt so great in it, because it's unbelievably beautiful. It really is. Unbelievably. Also, by the way, Alex Perry made this dress. I kind of like a shoulder. We Mommy like a likes shoulder. a shoulder. We like a shoulder, but we're not completely... Mommy likes a shoulder. Commando now, are we? <laughs> <laughs> but listen, you've come. It's a very exciting time for your family. Your daughter, Ruby, is getting married yeah. very soon, which is, a, which is perfect for you, because I've been told, and is this true, that you are obsessed with watching marriage proposals well, online. No, let me just say this. I'm a busy woman. Yes. I'm as busy as I've ever been in my entire life, bar no other time. And I work hard, and I have a lot of things going on. But when I have nothing else going on, and I'm sitting alone with my phone, I have, on occasion, gone on to... I don't have a TikTok account, so no. it's not a TikTok account, trust me. But, because, you know, that, can you imagine being 62 and saying, oh, yeah, I was on my TikTok. Yeah. Um, but I was on a scrolly thing. Yes. And I like watching flash mob wedding proposals. I'm obsessed by them. I'm obsessed by them. I have watched every single one that is on that phone over and over again, and I cry every single <laughs> so time. I, there's something... So emotional yeah. about love. Mm. And it's so beautiful when you see someone who's not expecting it get this very elaborate production to say, I love you, will you marry me? Mm. And it's that Bruno, the frickin' Bruno Mars song. <laughs> I mean, seriously, if that's not an earworm, I don't know what it is. Mm. But it's usually to that song. And I'm telling you, I have watched them all. You actually sent us your favorite. Have a look at this. OK. OK. Do you see how she's jumping? That's her fiance. Oh. But wait, watch. No, but you don't understand. She was so excited. She jumped up and down like a five-year-old. And this was like it in her oh. high school gym. I'm telling you, sobbing, <laughs> sobbing, sobbing. And it's because what you don't have on this is w when it first happens. Because she's sitting next to her boyfriend. They're watching a dance team do the thing. And she's just sitting there. And then all of a sudden, he gets up to dance with them. And her, the look on her face as she, that dawning understanding of like, Wait, what? And then the joy, that jumping up and down with her feet going up in the... I'm sorry. I'm obsessed, just obsessed. Whoever you guys are, I hope you're married. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have children. 
And I hope somehow you will find a way to find me because I want to send you books for your children. And they're the I best books. I want to send you a wedding gift. Oh. I am obsessed by you. Oh, so, I love this. Whoever in the universe. I mean, make. I love this. And look at this. You were, you were recently awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award at Venice Film Festival. This must have been a, a great night. <laughs> Did you enjoy this night? Was it fun for you? OK, just so you know, I went to Venice for 24 hours. I flew to Venice. I left on a Monday. I got there Tuesday night. This thing was all day Wednesday. And I got on a plane Thursday morning. I was back in L.A. at 12 noon. But One it, day. Is it fun? Does it mean a lot to you when you oh, receive you know, these Oh, you know what's fun? What's fun is being alive. Life is for living. Like, it's fun. Sure, it makes you feel a little old that they're giving you a Lifetime Achievement Award when you feel... I feel like I'm 14. Yeah. I feel like this incredibly immature, vulgar 14-year-old. I just am. It's just in me, and I no longer keep her at bay. I just let her out everywhere. So even there, even though it was obviously it's an incredibly important film festival, I still took off my shoes, ran barefoot down the thing. I didn't throw any F-bombs during the presentation. But, you know, I try to connect my heart. But at the same time, I try to have some laughs. I mean, oh, we have to have some laughs, James. We I mean, really do. We have to have laughs. We have to laugh. We have to laugh. We have to laugh. We have to laugh. Well, on that note, let's talk about Halloween Kills, oh, which yeah, is it's chock so full of laughs. laughs. This is... It's a laugh it's riot. wall-to-wall -wall laughs Laughter. for oh, all the family. Goodness. This is the second installment... <laughs> no, not for all the family. This is the second installment in the trilogy series. Uh, for anyone who what's happening in this film? What's happening? <laughs> People are dying. <laughs> <laughs> lots and lots and lots. It's brutal. It, this new, you know, this, this, it's a little sign of the times. Um, there's a lot of anger, um, a lot of anger, um, a lot of anger. And it picks up directly from the 2018 movie. I'm still in the back of the truck. And Michael may or may not survive the fire, the trap that I have set for him. And uh, I am wounded and I have had a surgery, and I believe... Are you going to show a clip? 